Hello, this is Lance Ellsworth at Cattle Visions. It is February 12th today. Wish I was down at the Iowa Beef Expo with everybody, uh, especially Carl and Patty. Today's Carl's birthday. Happy birthday, Carl. Uh, sure miss seeing you. Uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our Sim Sensational Denver. Our Simmental Sires are... Uh, some of the hottest going right now. Here's the Denver Sim Magic catalog. Uh, we had Progeny out of Fat Butt, Gunslinger, Make It Rain, Uproar, Combustible, Broker, Wide Open, Kingpin at Shoal Creek and Hearts and uh, Owen Brothers, uh, Supremacy, uh, the Good Forest Brook Bull, uh, Royal Affair. Those calves are starting to come. One Eyed Jack as well. Good reports on both. Uh, catching a Dream, John Ferguson in Ohio. I know they're looking good for John. Uh, we got Foundation. Dave Duello had some nice animals out of Foundation at his Denver sale. Uh, the American Prides are looking good. Uh, Secret Weapon for the Mueller's uh, doing quite well. Uh, it's a coming out party for GLS New Direction at Denver. I'll tell you a little bit more about New Direction in a minute. Uh, Duracell, there's not a lot of Duracell semen left. Uh, he sired the champ, reserve champion bull up on the hill, so make sure you get your Duracell semen before that runs out. Uh, Rendition sired the, the champion power bull for Gateway Genetics uh, and their champion pen of three. Uh, Walters are liking their Renegades. Uh, Shocking Dream still makes them as pretty as any. And uh, we've got High Regard. The talk of the year for purebred Simmental Bull. And then, of course, uh, Montecito, the nice three-quarter blood uh, RS and T's. A lot of good calves coming out of him. So, yeah, Sim Genetics are hot here at Cattle Visions. Um, give you a little bit of story on my Simmental experience. Uh, when I was a teenager, we bought a couple Simi steers from Lynn Holly. Uh, Lowell Watson had raised a bull called Max Factor that was pretty popular. Uh, Lowell uh, lived in our, our hometown and uh, knew Lowell really well. He helped us out and we helped him out uh, and uh, also had a, eventually a reserve champion steer, uh, semi steer at Denver. I uh, got him through Donnie Copsell back when I was a teenager. So that's a little bit of my semi history. I bought my very own first semi cow in uh, 99 um, from Liebert Farms dispersion. She was anticipation. Um, I bought her, uh, I saw her as a baby calf. Tim Erickson uh, from Missouri was my judging coach and I thought she was the coolest semi heifer I had ever seen. Uh, bought her. Uh, you guys probably know the anticipation story. She was eventually champion cow calf in Denver in 2000. So I uh, Simmental cattle are really close to my heart, and we are excited about bringing Simmental breeders the hottest sires in the country. This is our last register ad. Uh, you guys have probably seen it. Uh, you know, we're our, our progeny are tearing up the tan bark. Uh, high regard. Uh, Warnings had their sale yesterday. I know it went really well. Congratulations, Warnings. Uh, thanks for all your cattle vision support through the years. Uh, supplying us with good bulls in our pop pipeline and uh, um, new directions of bull I wanted to talk about quick heifer bull uh, GLS new direction from Bob grass grass Lunning, Minnesota um, their sale was over the weekend I know uh, the second high selling female in the sale was uh, a new direction daughter um, the reserve champion pen of three purebred bulls at Denver were all sired by New Direction. Very nice job. Congratulations, Bob. Uh, the Powerball heifer pick, um, or total animal pick, was from Hillbrands in Minnesota Cattle Company. And, uh, you know, she was a New Direction daughter. And she also had a full sister bring 10 grand in that same sale at The One, managed by Eberspockers. Uh, there was a new di direction son that brought fifty thousand um, dollars. He was called Hilb Maverick and sold to John Lee um, in Colorado. Uh, that might be a bull that we had down the line too. But we are way excited about New Direction. 
a calving ease bull, total outcross to dream on, uh, moderate framed, uh, at will add belly, improved soundness, they have a good look. Um, you know, they're just very complete in their makeup. He's a 12 Cavanese direct, so you definitely have for acceptable. Denver is our work zone. This is an ad coming out in the next Sim Talk. Uh, here is Pace to Believe, a bull that won Louisville last fall. We're way excited about him. He's a Pace to Dream son. Super sound, extremely good footed um, out of uh, the new Lee donor you're a baby doll and out of going back to the great rock and robin you know i'm pretty tight with the lee family so i'm excited that they've had a lot of success uh when i started out cattle visions a while back i used to stay at their house quite a bit uh help jerry um sort through the cattle um and barb making me some nice pork chops remember that it's good stuff uh so thanks to you guys New bull here. We went on the hunt also at the one sale. Got my camo on. We a step up is a new bull. Uh, John Sandich family uh, bought this high selling lot in the one sale. Uh, Jerry Walsh. I was sitting next to him uh, at the one sale, and he's like, Lance, that bull's going to get really hot. These calves are good. I agree. Uh, Troy Jones family uh, showed this champion. Uh, heifer at the Louisville Junior Show out of Step Up. Um, you know, the clubby guys, I think, are really going to like Step Up. He's going to moderate frame um, and just make them pretty eye appealing all the way around. Just a little white strip face on him, too. And he doesn't go back to Dream On until like his third or fourth generation, too. So I think uh, maybe on some, uh, you know, he could work really good on like Steel Force Daughters and, and, and things like that and bigger frame cows that, um, you know, go back to Dream On uh, a while back would be fine. Uh, we picked up the Addiction Bull that Chet Purvine got. He's a top grade son. I haven't seen a lot of these top grades, but from what I've seen, I like Addiction better than any of the other ones. Uh, out of a great $40,000 Steel Force Daughter. Um, so we'll go on from there. Um, yeah, point another bull we picked up, Long's Damien. Um, really eye-appealing bull for his pedigree. He's a sheer force out of a, a GW um, lucky man. Of course, I forgot that for a minute. Uh, the 158 API, 16 cavities. Like that bull a lot for the way he's bred. Hard to get outcross pedigrees uh, like that with a wow factor uh, look and he definitely has that uh, so yeah congratulations gateway genetics you guys have a sale coming up had that good rendition calf in there um, you had a little bit of everything in that champion pen and champion percentage pen so I was glad to see you guys do that a couple years ago gateway I uh, had a bull in their sale called Hera's Real Steel. I like that bull a bunch. Uh, we're interested to see what he's doing at Swanson's. He ended up buying him, but he's a Steel Force Ali Harrietta. Like that one. Really cool. Oh, uh, do do do. Where else are my visual aids for the day? That might be it. Sim Genetics is hot. Like it says on here, my old truck, the Seaman Demon. Work hard, play hard. That's my motto. I'm also going to tell you about Philippians chapter 4. They say not only play hard, but pray hard. Don't worry about anything this spring, but pray about everything. That's Philippians 4. I pray daily. Uh, I talk to a lot of people do lately. Uh, guys like uh, Roman Schooley, uh, Travis Pembroke. Uh, a lot of guys at Denver. We talked a lot about faith, and I think... Uh, we definitely need to keep promoting the good deeds that the Lord does for us. Thanks much. This is Lance from Cattle Visions. Have a good spring.